At El Alamein in the Western Desert lie the bodies of 7,335 men. Their epitaph, killed in action. Field Marshal Viscount Montgomery, Monty to those men, is now to unveil a memorial to another 11,945 soldiers and airmen, men who have no known grave. Twelve years have passed since they died in the campaign that helped to turn the tide of war. Field Marshal Montgomery is now to inspect a guard of honor mounted by the 1st Battalion, the Seaforth Highlanders. All branches of the services are represented at the ceremony. Men of the Commonwealth are there, among them Australians, who are forever linked with the fight in the Western Desert. Now the Field Marshal unveils the new memorial. The flags of the British and Allied nations fall to reveal six stone shields, each representing an Allied and Commonwealth nation who served at Alamein. Lord Montgomery steps forward to lay a wreath of remembrance, the first of many to be placed at the foot of the memorial by relatives of the fallen, 200 of whom have traveled many thousands of miles for the ceremony. On this piece of land, they are remembered. The headstones and memorials that record their dying proclaim a story of gallantry and devotion that shall forever live. <laughs>